Now you can take a little bit of Dr. Bonner's soap and put it in some water in the, the sink base and stop it up. And you can put your Teflake sheets in there and let them soak a little bit, then just rinse them good dry and they're brand new. Also the same thing with the um, the grids, you know, you can just soak those and they're like brand new. But the inside of the dehydrator, if anybody has a new one, um, I have found that my last one just didn't want to come clean anymore because I just didn't clean it. Like, I just didn't think to like take everything out and dump it out. A lot of things just become stuck and really crusty and they don't want to come off without you really gouging at it. Um, so I did that. And uh, what else did I want to tell y'all? So, you know, it's just like these holidays are different things. We really can do different, you know? We really can become new people. We can really, and you know what? It's not easy. Change is hard. Really, change is just different because change is change, you know? Just like me deciding, I want to not just let life happen to me. I want to decide. You know what I mean? I want to contemplate and decide movements in my life. And of course, there's always going to be some tries, twists and turns, which is great, but I want to be in noticing of what I want in my life. You know, and you can do that too. You really can. We can really carve that out. Was the Apple Festival fun? I didn't go because I, um, Carly said she might go today and I might meet her there, but, um, I just decided to take a drive instead and I went and watched the, the people on the tubes and um, Rochelle, have you ever been on the tubes there at, um, that was kind of, forget the tubing company, but you know it's all like the Saluda River and all there. I just, um, no, not the picture, Amelia, of, uh, of some man's thing, but the picture of the the rope that came out of the inside of me as I did a cleanse. <laughs> I would not show y'all that. I, I delete those right away. And I'm like, this pervert. And, um, and you know, it's, I only, when somebody tries to friend me on there, I just really don't have time to shuffle through everybody's stuff. And if it looks like they have a lot of mutual friends with me, like they look like fruity people or vegans, or I'll let them on, you know, and then if they do that, they're off. They, I, I don't need to give you another chance. I mean, I've already seen it now. Like, there's just no chance, no reason. Change is hard. I was wanting warm cereal this morning, but had tea and it helped me. Now having my green smoothie, yes. Change is just different, you know? And um, who was that that was saying in the group that they had what they thought was, they were disgusted with their stuff? Like, was it you, Cheryl Ann, um, saying they had eaten some cooked food and whatever? But you know, I was trying to say that um, Cheryl Ann's been raw this whole time and it's the longest run or stint with raw she's had and that is phenomenal, you know? And it took me five years to get to that solid point. Five years. This September 19th, I will have been raw 10 years. And it could have been more towards the first of this September, around this time, but I remember um, having been raw a, a several days at my daughter's birthday, um, and she's September 19th, and, uh, and then I've been raw ever since. Because it got to where the the pain of continuing to be in that holding pattern, continuing to have to fight with the same dang downfalls, the pain of that became stronger than the pain of doing different. You know, which isn't even pain. It's just the fact of getting new rituals. You know what I mean? The pain of me looking at myself in the face and thinking, again, really? You know, I put a video, I think I put it in the group, um, Confessions of a Raw Vegan. I've tried to find that video before and somebody made a comment. Somebody posted it on and shared it on their Facebook and I thought, there's that video. And I'm talking about how I would slip up back in the day and, I'm, and it's, it's on our feed. If it's not, tell me. 
Sherilyn's back home trying so hard. I want to be different. I don't want to go down the same the same day. Right. I know. The same day. I just thought yesterday as I was driving how you can be different. How you can be different. You know, and being in the moment of what you're where you are right then. The other day I was at Costco's and I was in noticing of um I was in noticing of being alone. Really alone isn't the right word without anyone with me. I don't like the word alone. I, I was uh, just in noticing of that though and I was in noticing of how it's okay because this is this time in my life. You know, I, I think a lot of times about how people jump into a relationship. I'm talking about after a long marriage or a long-term relationship and they don't even take the time to think about who they are and what is it they want for their life and what is it and we can do that with anything we can do it with our diet and lifestyle we can do it with and i was as i was at costco's i was just thinking to myself as i walked across it was real windy that day and i was thinking about how I was feeling the wind, and I was feeling the wind kind of whipping my shirt back and forth against my back, stomach, back, stomach. And I was thinking about how there was no pain. And I was thinking about how there was no me trying to hold my stomach in, or me trying to squeeze into my pants, or me trying to deal with digestive pain constantly, you know? Or me trying to even walk upright because it hurt inside so bad. Or it was just me feeling free. Do you understand the power in that? In the power in the noticing. You know, the power in the noticing that the steps along the way, like the steps I'm taking right now to decide what twists and turns in my life is it that I want? Do I want to stay in this home? Do I want to downsize? Do I want to live in this town forever? Do I want to pick my little mommy up and let's move somewhere, anywhere in the world? Do I want to be single? Do I want to have a companion? Do I want to, what do I want? And what do you want? You know what I mean? What do you want for your health? You know, what do you want? Because whatever it is, just like I said the other day, you're the one who will succeed. You're the one. Sometimes as I'm just, I think I'm the one who has healed. You're that one, you know? Linda said, I don't want to be like typical people walking around in fake food, induced brain fog and fatigue. Me either. I want to be clear, shiny, bright, and vibrant. You know, mainly not on the outside, but on the inside. And not for other people, but for me. You know? I so want vibrancy and to feel in my body and mind. I will keep on my path. You help me more than anyone else. And I can't thank you enough for that. Thank you. Really though, I have noticed the longer I coach people and work with people, it's always different, but the easier it becomes because I'm starting to notice a pattern in people. A pattern in do they love their self enough? A pattern in what is it that we breaking down the walls? You know, breaking the walls. by loving yourself enough, you know, doing different to get different. Phoenix, hey, I want my outside to look like how I feel on the inside, yes. And I'll tell you something, um, somebody has a birthday coming up, which is very exciting. And I will be so lucky to have your exuberance and vibrancy when I am your age. I will be so lucky because um, 
I don't know if, if people want me to share their birthday, so I won't. Um, but anyway, it, it's exciting. And it's exciting to come together, and, and I am really happy that this group will still be intact because it really is a great backbone for accountability and for remembering, you know? People have been really good to share and to reach out and to be vulnerable and honest in the group and and in a way that's not like in a way that is really supportive to everybody. You know what I mean? So anyway, so I'm going to hop off here and I'm on to fix my sink again. And now we're going to have a brand new faucet. And, and this looks clearly like very easy directions. The problem is my sink under there, my hands, you know, are large. Like they could palm a basketball and it's really tight up in there. And, um, and I said to Christopher, can you come do this? He's like, the boy's six foot four. Like he couldn't even hardly get his shoulders under there. I have some Q and A's, I'm sure. I need to write them down when I think of it. Enjoy your beautiful day, Tanny and friends. Happy birthday to whoever we're talking about. <laughs> I love y'all. Have a great day. Remember to fly, butterflies. Bye.